guys. There's no one there yet, but we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 11th episode of GT Insider. This is a place where you can come join us for quick insight into all things gaming and maybe hear something that will enhance your gaming tribe experience. Please turn your speakers off, guys. There's a crazy echo, Erwin. I know. I know As I know always, everything on this show is the opinion of the host and not Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 11th episode of GT Insider. This is a place where you can join us for quick insight into all things gaming and maybe hear something that will enhance your gaming tribe experience. Please turn your speakers off, guys. There's a crazy echo, Erwin. Erwin, okay. what is that? Alright, need to put something here. So, my uh, web browser automatically sta starts YouTube. No. That's what you hear. Uh, and we have some stupid advertising here. Oh my god. Okay. Fix it, please. Now we should. How to do this? Oh, I have only one screen. I don't see anything anymore. Is it done? Is good? Thank you. Uh, 20 seconds because I have the wrong screen turned off. Oh, oops. I can't see what I'm seeing. What happened here? Fides, why don't you tell us what games you played this week? Uh, screen. Hearthstone, League of Legends, uh, a little bit of Diablo 3. Things have been actually really quiet for me this week. Oh, and Dota 2 because, you know, Compendium Hero Dailies. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Awesome. How about you, Braga? If you don't want me calling you that, because it's easier. Oh, it's fine. Okay. I played a little Hearthstone and uh, Asphalt 8. Not much since I got home. What is Asphalt 8? Because I've never heard of that. It's a race car game on Windows. Okay. Okay. It's something to, you know, waste time on. Hey, as long as you're having fun, that's the important part. Erwin, what games did you play this week? Just one. Diablo. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I haven't played much of anything this week because I was working, and then all this weekend has been Comic Con, so I haven't been told. Huh? I've seen that. Yes, yes. I I posted a link to my status on Gaming Tribe for the pictures I took. If you guys want to go see that, by the way, so just go to my profile. It should be there. All right. Today we have Obelith back as he holds down Joe's place because he's still MIA. Um, and our guest this week, if you haven't noticed yet, is James Braga, a.k.a. Killer J. So, Erwin, I think you have another unboxing for us today? Yeah, I do. Take it away, please. Okay. I'll fetch the box. Here, this one. It's the new HyperX Cloud Pro Gaming headset from nice. Kingston, which I'm going to unbox now, <clears throat> as soon as I fetch the knife. <laughs> Okay, let's do it another way. Okay, this is one, two, three. And out comes another box. If it wants. Mm. See, one other box. And out comes something inside of the box. Some reading materials, which I haven't read yet. Welcome to the HyperX team, it says, among other things. And then we have a nice headset in plastic. Oh, wait a moment. Something else. Stuck. Oops. And the funny thing is, you don't see a mic, but on the side here it has a notch where you can fit in a microphone because it's also included. Cool. Let me see, where did they put it? Here. 
Damn. Why do they have to steal everything? Because it's protocol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And they want to annoy you as much as possible. Mm, That's what do. you mean, a cluster pack for an apple? <laughs> so, I removed some small piece of plastic. Very small. Okay. And uh, this is the microphone with the jack. It's an interesting connection pin that they're using. Yeah. Mm. And the funny thing is, if it's not inserted, you have no mic, but it uh, connects it to, and you can do everything with it. Nice. You can bend it over. And it weighs less than the headset I have. I bet that's yeah. going to be a nice change. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I actually wonder if the reason why they did that, because like I'm using a steel series and I've had issues where the condenser is actually attached to mm -hmm. the speaker port over here. And so if they're using an auxiliary microphone port that it's running its own condenser so that if I run things really loud in my headset, people can hear what I'm listening to through my mm -hmm. microphone because of a split condenser. I mean this headset's nice, so. but it it has some technical fallbacks like that in broadcasting, which is kind of falls in the unfun territory. Makes sense. And there is an echo going on, but I'm not sure from where. It's not from me. I don't know either. It's not me because so. my speakers aren't on. So. Hmm. Oh jeez. They have put some igno igno uh, irritating plastic on it, but the cable from the headset to the first plugs is braided. And nice. about uh, almost two meters. That, that's one, really one, one, one and a half meters. But there's something else at, uh, with the with the machine as well because there is a extension cable which I read from another two meters. Nice. So you can walk around your house head. with it. <laughs> yeah. Almost. That, that's the other thing. Like this headset, I think they give you, I'd say about. At best, one and a half meters for the primary plug, and then the ex mm -hmm. then the extension plug is is just absurdly huge. It's <laughs> probably like three meters were. I'm pretty much of, trapped hmm. right here because I'm using my cell phone earpiece because I don't have a headset. And I got word from feedback that if I have this plugged in, it makes me sound better on streams. So I'm using it, so like, yeah, that's the extent of where I can go because the computer's right there. <laughs> <laughs> the, ex wow. the extension cable is, by the way, not braided, but the first one is, and then I they also have. They that's that one. really peculiar. Why would they braid that? both? Yeah, that doesn't make yeah. sense. That's a good question. Uh, maybe because there is another cable which is, I feel like braided. <clears throat> What's this one for? <laughs> it has a, a volume uh, thing on it. Oh, cool. You should have brought some scissors with you when you sat down. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought a knife. Scissors but knife, same this, thing. This, this one is braided again. And it has some plastic on it. Urgh, I hate plastic. So, what I'm guessing say? the reason why they're doing that is because they don't expect the extension cable to move too much. But the True. primary cable so. to have a lot of actual play in it. But at the same time, like... Extension cables do move a fair amount. Yeah, so. or maybe they're just hoping you don't really need it too much because the yeah. main cable's <laughs> yeah. already pretty long. Well, yeah, having like a six foot cable already is is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So, that's probably why they didn't braid the extension because they're like the chances yeah. of it getting used are very slim. Okay. Yeah, not to mention the fact that if you need like another six feet, the, the chances of uh, you doing anything, you're probably going to make that port stationary yeah <laughs> you, know? the, the, you see the, the volume thing has uh, the plugs for for the headset nice. and mic in it wondering ah here hmm good screen okay now it's long enough it has a red colored volume dial okay and it has of course the logo of HyperX and something which I think is a mute button for the mic. It's next to my finger. That, yeah, that probably is the mute button. Yeah, I hope that one works better than mine does. Why, does yours <laughs> not even mute at all? Oh, mine's Let attached to a switch How long, how right long here. is this able now? And <laughs> on some programs, yeah. it doesn't even register. Nice. Two and a half and meters. Like is, is the cable two and a half meters, you said? Including the volume. 
Gucci. Yeah, you don't even need the extension. That's probably why yeah. we didn't braid it. We answered that mystery. Then here is a... Uh, uh, what is this? Hmm, okay. Some plug for, I think, an, uh, uh, an airplane or something like that. By the way, the... the for an airplane, yes. Airplane. Mm. Those things I look super plushy, plushy, too. Yeah, they are. Yeah, with only one plug on the side and two. Interesting. Yeah. No, that that makes actually a lot of sense, um, especially from a competitive aspect. Okay. Because yeah. there's going to be a lot of players that are going to be, you know, promoting HyperX. True. Right. They and know. they're going to be going to tournaments all over the place. So yeah, so they're going to be flying. So you definitely yeah. Want to so here? so they're going to be repping those in the airplane too, and given that's that's a really smart choice. Yeah, that is actually a really good idea. Good job, HyperX. <laughs> Let me see replacement here. Things. Those look really cushy. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Those things look really plushy, and what's nuts is like that's probably the first headset that I've seen that actually says, "Hey, we got you." And gives you like a replacement. Yeah, because like, they, they know they're gonna you. die. <laughs> yeah. See, the, the the headband is leather, and it has yeah. been uh, stitched red on the side, and with the logo of Hyperx, of course. Nice. It's a pretty nice embossment. Yes, it is. Everything now I'm going to tell you. Nice, really good stitching. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have something for you to say. As soon as I've tested this headset, you're gonna receive mine. Yay! I won't have to use these horrible things anymore because they hurt my ears. <laughs> That's why throughout only, the stream I always switch my ears. It's only seven weeks old and that is this one. Ooh! That'll be my second Razer item because my keyboard's the first one I ever had. I feel so bad for you. And I didn't I pay for to... it, so whatever. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just... I, I'm really... Ir Irwin's heard my, my grievances. Yeah, that's not your topic my, today, my so mouse. let's not get into it. <laughs> And of uh, course, it's it has the logo of HyperX on the side. Nice. They look really, really high speed. So. I heard uh, nice. these these things are made from aluminium. I heard, huh. and I read, and in com in uh, combination with a company called uh, QPad, I heard I read. Heard about it, Joshua? Which? QPad. Q P E D A D. Never heard of them myself. I'm not sure. They make uh, I think quality music. Right. What I read. Those are really awesome. Thank you for the unboxing, Erwin. That was actually really fun to watch, and I'm jealous because I want those instead. <laughs> <laughs> Obi, I think you have one heck of a topic for us today, so why don't you tell us about it? Um, so I'm I made a post about this yesterday, and I don't even know where to start on this. It is absolutely ridiculous. There is. A gaming auction site called Game Gavel. I think it got established because you know to prevent scamming that goes on through eBay. Yeah. But uh, there's an individual up there right now, and the current bid is at almost a hundred thousand dollars. He is selling his entire gaming collection, and it's a legitimate like world's largest video game collection and recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. Man, I'm so jealous. This if I is... was rich, I'd take it. <laughs> right? You'd never see me again for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I, there's a, a video that's up on YouTube. You can look up the world's largest video game collection on YouTube. And this guy's basement is just like... Genius. Oh, it... It's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. It's like, you know, you'll go to people that collect games and they'll be like, oh, yeah, this is like my little part of the desk that has my Nintendo, this part. <laughs> and this guy's like, no, nah, this is this entire shelf over here. This entire this entire wall is just my Nintendo games. Oh, You're just like, what? <laughs> oh, no, sure. over here is my 3DO. <laughs> you probably walk in there and just immediately. Sploosh. What's up, everyone? That guy had last year, September, October, he had 10,700 games and it still expanded. Yeah, this is about 11,000. Uh, oh, yeah. This is like Amiga, Amstrad, CPC. Eight, there, there's a lot of them where they almost sound like they're fake, but they're. I, I know for a fact that they're not because a lot of people came in and didn't do well in the video game industry. But 
pretty much any platform. Um, I'm not sure if they're coming with the consoles, but I mean, just anybody that likes video games or anybody that collects them as a hobby or a passion, you should look at this and just... I don't know whether you'll just be super happy or die a little on the inside with like this type of green indie. Abs- when I yeah. first saw it, I, I yeah. got really, really sad. I was like, Jesus Christ, I will never have that many games. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking at it from the fact of like, there's 11,000 games there. If you played one game and beat, actually, if you beat three games every day. You'd still be in the grave before you were done with like half of that library. (laughs) That's true. This is this is just such an amazing, uh, immaculate collection. Where keep going. It's it's yeah. Like I I don't have anything to say. The thing speaks for itself, man. (laughs) This thing is crazy. Well, now I was gonna bring it up. The fact we were talking about it before we went live. So like, how much do you think he would have to make to break even on Um, selling this? I, I don't know. I, I would say easily about four hundred and fifty thousand. Um, and that's yeah. just to break even, huh? That's that's just to break even. And apparently he's doing it so that he can give the money back to his family. That's really nice of him. Yeah. It's like he he's just done this as a hobby. I'm sure his family's like kicked him money here and there so he could get something. <laughs> and he's oh, just yeah. like, you know what? I I'm at my phase of my life where I just don't need to be doing this anymore. <laughs> you know? Because he looks like probably, you know, anywhere from like 38 to 40, 42, depending he's, on how well you age. Yeah, so he probably um, doesn't need it anymore. Yeah, he's probably like, you know, th- thanks for the fun, guys. And pretty much like the reserve hasn't even been met. And I noticed that. Mm. I, I can easily see this thing hitting like a quarter of a million before the next few days. Is a quarter mil um, the reserve? Uh, They don't have a public reserve to mm. be met. Okay. But the big thing is, not only is this just an amazing collection, but it's a Guinness Book World Record holding collection. Yeah. So, like, not only are you buying that, but you're buying the certificate saying, like, I am the man. You know, when it comes to this. And, then but, you, and you said if you want your name in the book instead, just add it to the grams you already buy have. Buy one more game. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you get uh, in the book. You're good. Yeah, so... I don't know. I think everybody should check this out and just see, like, and cry a little. The type of dedication that, that some people are able to have with with like their passion of gaming, and just be amazed. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. So post up. Well, I know you already posted a link. When I find it, I'll post a link to my status about it, just to share it around some more. Definitely check it out, guys. It's insane. I looked at it on my phone last night before I fell asleep after con, and yeah, I dreamt about games all night, pretty much. <laughs> all right, Braga. Let's see. You won one of the loot drops, right? I did, and I, I almost closed that. the browser out when it popped up. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> well, my internet must have dropped twenty times that day. <laughs> And I was closing it out to reboot my computer, and all of a sudden that screen popped up. Mm. I was shocked. I was like, I didn't expect it at all. Now, that's that's a lucky timing right there, if I ever saw one. Well, yeah, because it, I had the screen popping up to click the, do you want to reboot? And all of a sudden <laughs> that music started coming on, I was like, stop. <laughs> nice. It was like, yeah, it was, it was close call. Yeah, so how long did it take you to actually receive your prize? I was, I think, almost three weeks, maybe. That's not bad. It's a good turnaround. You, the, the problem was, is the day as I was leaving for my honeymoon, I was walking <laughs> outside as the the guy was dropping it off. Oh, I would have missed man, it. Yeah, this is like, this is like some straight up life motivation decisions. Do I, I stay, know, get seriously. my computer, or do I go on my honeymoon? <laughs> I grabbed it from him, took it inside, and then went on my honeymoon. So, it was... Oh, it sat here until the day I got back, and it was in my computer within 20 minutes. Nice. It was over. I probably would have carried it with me on the honeymoon just to keep it there. I've been like, yeah, this is mine. This isn't getting <laughs> stolen while I'm Well, you know, the wife supports my addictions <coughs> with the electronics and stereos. Does she so, play too? So, you know, she games too. I mean, oh, that's she, has, nice. she has my old setup, but... <laughs> 
Cool. You can cook eggs on it right now. It's Gosh. running spot. Man, that's crazy. Um, so how much RAM was it? Was it an upgrade in the amount from what you used uh, to have? I already had 16 gigs of G-Skills. Okay. So, but the, the megahertz was different. It was, you know, going from 1600 to 1866. That's wow. a, you know, yeah, that's a pretty big swap out. Oh, yeah. So, like, how much faster does your computer feel now? <laughs> You know, it actually it seems pretty, you know, much faster, but I can't run the max of the 1866 with my board. Okay, so you gotta upgrade that then. Oh yeah, that, and I have to change the color scheme now. Because <laughs> it doesn't yeah. match anymore? No, the RAM is red, and my lights are all blue. Oh, jeez. <laughs> just, here's oh. what you do, just make everything purple, so that it doesn't matter if you get red or blue again, it'll just automatically yeah. match. I'll just change the fan out with the red one and it'll be good. That's nice and easy. I'm, the fans in my case are are they're red. Sure. I just always leave it off because I can't see them from this side anyway. They're because they're on the other side, so whatever. Yeah, the only thing I have with uh you know bright and shiny glowy things is I think like my extra like my case fan is blue, and then I have actually one of those little sticks, like the the one pin sticks at nice. the bottom of my case. <laughs> yeah, I never, I, I never thought I'd go for anything wow. like that. The but. brightest thing on my whole setup, if not my TV screen, that's my monitor, is like the blue light on my tablet that just sits yeah. there and pulsates until I use it. So I always have to cover it when I go to bed because it drives me crazy. Oh, I bet. I'm going to open up the floor. Anybody that's viewing right now, do you have any, do any of you have any questions for Braga about the loot drop or the RAM or anything mm -hmm. else like that? Ask now so we can get it answered because we're in a little bit of a lull. So I'm actually going to take that time to talk about Comic-Con. It is awesome. A few I've seen from the comments, a few of you have actually checked out the album. It was crazy. <laughs> Saturday is the biggest day. <laughs> Erwin, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. I found another cable in, in, in the, the <laughs> plastic shit. <laughs> nice. They're, they're just drowning away. Going, going from two to one. Oh, nice. So you can share it with somebody. That's cool. Yeah. No, the, the, you, the mic and the, the headset into into one cable plug. Very cool. Um, oh. That's why the other plug was for. Okay, I that think. makes sense. All right. So last year, Phoenix Comic Con had 55,000 people that went. This year, they haven't released the exact number yet, but the pre-ticket sales are already 30% higher than last year's, so it was crazy. That's packed. Yes, it was so full that they had to move the ticket registration and pick up to a separate building entirely. Like, wow. there were just so many people. What The bonus to that is that it made the dealer's den much bigger. And I got my nerd on super hardcore. I was running around dressed as a black and pink cat, all hyped up on caffeine without actually having any because the energy there is just so strong that you can't help but be giddy and like I'd see people and I'm like ee! and I'd run at people and be like give me a hug or let me take your picture and I was everywhere I lost my friends within like five minutes we all went as a group and I turned around I'm just like where did they go and reception down there is almost non-existent so there was no hope of actually texting them to be like where are you because you have to go back upstairs to get the text message so I think I spent majority of my time just wandering around by myself. And um, I'm pretty sure everyone remembers those GT flyers that Amanda made. Shout out to Amanda. I had printed them out at work, and I actually taped it to the back of my camel bag. So I was walking around with the black and white flyer on the back of my bag. So people were like, what is that? And then at the same time, I made mini ones. So I, I was handing them out to people. I would leave them on tables and chairs. and in the bathroom. I just left them all over the place. I'm pretty sure I pissed off the hotel and convention staff because this stack was like this fat when I started and that's all I have left because I just strewed paper everywhere. And I'm like, hey, you, and if I walk past someone that was playing a game, I'm like, hey, you're playing a game. Check this place out and I'd run away. <laughs> my, my social skills in person aren't very strong because I'm like, I'm not good at cold starting a conversation. But the few people I did sit down and talk with, um, to answer you, I'm a Transformer. It is across three buildings because con the Phoenix Convention, on the outside, it's two buildings. It's the North Building and the West Building, but those actually connect underground. So I still count it as one. And then you have the South Building across the street. So the whole con spans across all three of those. Um, where was I? Right. So I'd actually stop and talk and explain this to some people. And a lot of them 
felt they, they they thought it was really awesome and i think the easiest shortest way to describe this i was like it's facebook for gamers without everything that facebook did wrong and everybody thought that was the most hilarious statement ever and i just kind of ran with that for the rest of the weekend it was awesome while i was there i i met the developer slash creator of infinity wars which is a trading card game that's coming out and i got to i got to play the tutorial and it's actually really awesome. It's not quite the same as, you know, Hearthstone or Magic or anything else like that. Yeah. In the sense that your playing field, you have to put cards in the assault section and the defense section. Your assault section will attack, and if you have nothing in your defense section, when they attack, it'll just take away from your health. <laughs> but you have one of two ways to win. You either deplete their health to zero, or you deplete their morale to zero. And instead of mana, you use resources, but it's still the same concept of you have this much, you can play these cards. And then you also have cards that are called commanders. And then okay. he said there's three to a deck. And when you pull them, they go straight into play immediately. And they're like super strong and you just don't want to mess with them. And <laughs> it's going to be, it's in open beta mm -hmm. right now. You can find it on Steam. So you can download it and help beta it. It's really fun. When it does get released, it will be free to play. Um, you can buy packs of cards if you want, but as you play, you'll be earning infinity points and you can buy the exact same packs you can with money. So there's really no mm. benefit to spending your cash other than you get the packs sooner, which I like. What game is this? Infinity Wars. I'm going to have a link up oh, on my profile. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been following that a little bit on Twitter. Yeah, they had a Kickstarter going on for a little while. Yeah. And like I said, they, they had their whole section on the gaming floor in the hotel, and they had a bunch of laptops up. And like I said, I actually got to play it, and I won. Yeah. I defeated my opponents, and I, I dropped their health like negative 34. <laughs> Yay, me! <laughs> um, I definitely tell everyone, I definitely suggest everyone check oh. that game out. It was fantastic. And it, it definitely requires a different kind of thinking to win because you have to worry about health and morale Damn. you have to decide if you want to put your monster on defense or assault because um you you can't just be like these monsters over here will attack and defend no the ones on one side will attack the ones on one side will defend that's all they do so you got to kind of decide what specials you want for which area and health and this that and the other and the cards are all animated so when you pull them up to read the information the picture on it's all animated i think my favorite one was the the drop bear it's this cute little koala looking teddy bear but when it attacks it gets like black and red eyes its ears are all spiky it's got these huge claws and teeth and it's crazy and i'm like that's my favorite card out of every card in their deck that one because i'm gonna have to drop find bears. you an image <laughs> cat because i was well I'll, I'll share it with you later and share it. <laughs> yeah, I can't really it's... check it out right now because one screen. Yeah, I know. So... Great. Another game I'm going to have to start playing. Yep. At least it's free, though. That's always the best part. So go check it out. It's in beta right now. Help them out. Make sure everything's, uh... Make sure everything works. If it doesn't, tell them. I told... The... I gave him a flyer, and actually I gave him my name on Gaming Tribe so that whenever he does manage to join, he can add me, and then I'm going to pimp his profile out. So that way everyone can add him and learn, and he can pimp his game out to everybody. Because <laughs> he thought he thought the idea of Gaming Tribe was just excellent, and he was really into it. But he said he's probably not going to be able to join until like close to next year. Not next week. Join, add me, and oh, that's loud. Yeah. Some stupid PC is doing something which is not allowed to. Damn. He thought, he thought really? <laughs> Damn, PC. What are they doing? Here with the phone. Yeah, yeah, looking for what is happening. I'll put my system volume down to nothing. That but works. Then my okay. mic work. Yeah, I'll fix it. Alright, grabbing the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's already downloaded. Yeah, I, I had, as soon as I got up this morning, I was like, set it to download. Gonna be checking it out because it's really awesome. Um, I'll probably, I'm going to post up the YouTube video for mm. the trailer after the stream because right now the typing and everything would just break everything else. So definitely check that out. Another fun thing was I found someone, I was eating lunch and this other guy was eating lunch next to me and he saw me just like sticking flyers on random tables around me. He's like, so what's that? Turns out he's a, he's an IT teacher at a school and uh, he fell in love with the entire idea of Gaming Tribe. And he was all over it. He's like, 
I don't know if my kids can join it, but it's still cool. And I'm like, I'd have to check because we're all adults, and these are like middle schoolers. I, there's kids on the. I think there's kids on the Amy tribe. Are there? But like, how young? Like middle school age? Um, I think there's one like it's like at least sixteen. Okay. That's that's kind of pushing it for the most part. Yeah, no, that's why I'm, I, I told him that he shouldn't have them join because I wasn't sure about the whole age limit thing, and I'd have to check. But I also gave him my name, so whenever he does get around to joining, he can add me, and I can share. Because I think he says he has his whole class plays um, Star Wars, so it's like a whole clan thing. And I'm like, dude, if you join, you can totally get more people to play with you, and it'll be awesome and huge. And his son was there, and his son thought I was like the coolest person in the world. It was so adorable. Cause <laughs> and we we clicked really well because he was he was in the army as well, so we we were just we talked for like half an hour. Mostly about gaming tribe, but also everything else. So that was very cool. And I really have not much else to say about Comic Con other than it was awesome and I'm tired and I really want to go to sleep right now. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the section of our show where we talk about all things gaming tribe. First off, we're going to do a big shout out and thank you to all our fellow G tribers, all 5,000 plus of you, for unlocking the achievement for Shack News in less than 24 hours. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. They're only picking five people, so if you're one of the ones wanting a watchdog key, do everything lucky you can. Hang a rabbit's neck, rabbit's foot around your neck, cross your toes, do a little jig, I don't know, just whatever. I haven't played watchdogs yet because my computer will hate me if I try, but I have it thanks to Erwin, so awesome. Um, we were talking about yeah. the ferocity giveaway earlier, Killer J. What were those numbers that you sent to me again? It's like, uh, the last email I got was like 33,000 people at 151 countries. Competition is going to be fierce for this. Did many. But I'm sure that blew up because that was on the second. Yeah, so, it's definitely bigger since then. Yeah, it's way past absolutely. that. Absolutely. But competition is going to be super fierce. If it boiled down to it and it was like hand to hand, I will wreck all of you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm little, but I'm mean. <laughs> I will win that thing if I had to, but too bad, it's all digital, so I just gotta sit here and do my little lucky dance jig and rain dance or whatever. You also gotta look at the people that don't have pictures on their profiles. Yes. Profiles aren't filled out yet. That's true, so even though they're all joining, they're not even gonna be eligible. Good. No. Well, I'm pretty sure what will end up happening yeah. is uh, wow. Angel will end up doing a server-wide thing going. Just to make sure, <laughs> make sure you're validated or don't get uh, mad. I will not share. I'm just kidding. I always no. share that because it is, even if it's not for a giveaway, they really should try to get yeah. their profile up to date because then they get more friends and then they can get more interactiveness going on. Because the people who I have on my friends list that their profiles aren't full or their pictures aren't the right one, I I notice I don't really talk to them that much. And it's not that I do it on purpose. It's just um, I, don't, I don't notice them as much. I'm the same way. I don't. It's like they're, you know, they're not actually people yet. Yes, exactly. I I gravitate towards profile pictures that are of people, and then I go snoop snoop out their uh, PC profile page. If there's nothing there, I'm just like, eh, go talk to Who this person you? over here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm I'm still debating. I think I'm gonna go on a campaign over summer break where I like go through my friends list and message people and be like, fix your profile, your pictures are wrong. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people on my friends list that don't meet that criteria. So, and in that, and actually feeding off of that guys, make sure your stuff meets the requirements. Profile picture must be of your face like it is on your driver's license. Your name must be your real name. Have your address correct. Have your PC information up to date and correct. Have a picture of your PC. It could be the outside, it could be the inside. If it's a laptop, that's fine. Take a picture of the laptop. Put a funny picture on the screen if you want. Doesn't matter. Let us see what you have. And be active. Like, I understand some people join just for the giveaways, but there's a really great community here. I, I'm always on Gaming Tribe. I think I leave Facebook open just because it's there and it's a tab and it's a background, but I'm always, on, I'm always refreshing Gaming Tribe. Do I have another status update? Do I have another comment? Do I have anything to reply to? There's always something going on and I'm learning every day. So. That's pretty funny because I have both of them on automatic, <laughs> so they're always on. And they just automatically refresh? Yeah, nice. macro refresh. I need to do that because I'm getting tired. Like, actually, sometimes I forget the tabs there and I'll leave it for like two hours and I'll come back and there's just all this stuff I gotta read through and I'm like, 
Only time what, you mean yours off updates? Go to bed. Hmm? I said, what, you mean yours updates? I love when I leave it open and I forget to refresh and I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a post. Yes. And I hit enter. Your session keys expired. That drives me nuts. <laughs> that really irritates me. But at the same time, it's like, it, I'm glad that it doesn't delete what yeah. you wrote. Because yeah. if it did that, Absolutely. I would have rage fit so often by now. Because there's been times I write this huge status update, and I hit enter, forgetting that it's been at least, like, 30 minutes. So if all of that was gone, I would probably make a status and be like, you know what? Forget it. I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I had that happen the first time when I when I made, like, a really big wall of text. And uh, I was doing it for Transistor for the review. Yeah. I was not happy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if it deleted it, you probably would have cried. <laughs> yeah, hmm. I'm just like, okay, I'm going, I'm going over to WordPad for a few minutes. I'm gonna type this out and just copy paste it. <laughs> so that's totally professional. I do that all the time. Actually, I, a lot of times I type my stuff in WordPad to make sure my grammar and my spelling is correct. Hmm. Very rarely do I spell things wrong unless I'm just typing too fast and I hit the wrong keys. But my grammar is almost always just horrendous. So speaking, speaking of which. Man, I am so happy that Angel made that request for Gaming Tribe. Oh, that you have to make sure your stuff is on point. Just try to try to like Yes. Not short term everything. Yeah. This Text isn't speak Facebook. Doesn't belong on Gaming Tribe. Yeah. Uh I love reading actual words. Yes. If and you see some of my post and notice the misspellings, it's dyslexia. <laughs> My excuse it, is that I just type that's, like crap. That's fine, but people substituting things is just yeah. you uh, are is not a word those yeah. are letters yeah <laughs> please use the short term Direct texting yeah. yes i hate <laughs> text yeah, it and it's funny because that's how my mom types and so she'll talk to me and i'm like i love you mom but stop oh my god it drives me nuts so if people when people text me on the phone they'll send me <coughs> stuff and it's really oh. short and i'll respond to them but it's like this huge paragraph because i use full words exact punctuation, apostrophes, everything, and they're just like, you could have said that a lot less. And I'm like, I don't care. So yeah, Gaming Tribe is not the place for text speech. If I see it on your status, I'm probably gonna make fun of you for it. I won't be mean, but I'll still make fun of you until you change it. And there should be no excuse for certain misspellings because almost every browser has a built-in spell check. Yep. Now, spell check but can't help you if you use the wrong word entirely like form instead of from, I'm culprit for that 95% yes. of the time. But other than that, they're really, wait, after you type up your post, look at your mm. screen, look for those little red squigglies, fix it, then post. <laughs> hmm, I um, wonder if you're I gonna have, be hurt. Opalith, Braga, Erwin, do you guys have anything else? Cause this actually went by a lot faster than I expected it would. <laughs> I do, but I hope you can hear me. We can hear you just fine, sweetheart. Yep. Okay, I thought you couldn't couldn't hear me. I have still one question because I have a giveaway for a watchdog key. Right. I, oh, that's I right. keep forgetting that. All right, so one lucky person from the EU is going to get watchdogs today. Erwin, who did you pick? I didn't and pick why? anybody. I, oh. I did I did a check uh, among uh, people. I found 29 people uh, which I researched and I sent them an email a, a message inside Gaming Tribe. But only 12 of them responded. So oh. I have 12 people who are candidates and I asked James to tell me between one and 12, which one? Then I'll tell eight. you which one he is. Number what? eight. Number eight. Eight, eight, eight right. he is uh, profile, profile is the weird one. The weird one. What's the name? Let's give him a shout out and congratulations on stream. Let me see. Who the weird one is. I love that name though. That that, that amuses me. I'm over here just grinning. <laughs> the weird one. That's nice. Wendy. She's Reese. called Wendy. Wendy. I I don't know if she watches our stream. She's she's from Great Britain. Oh nice. Well, congratulations to Wendy, aka the weird one. You just are now wow. Stop rewind. Try that again. You are now an owner of Watch Dogs, so kudos to you. I'd clap, but that's too loud if I'm by myself, so I don't want to. <laughs> um, so just a reminder, everyone, for whoever wins the Ferocity giveaway, 
Erwin is going to be including a was it fifty dollars? Yeah. A fifty Origin or what Origin or Steam key. A yeah. Steam uh, amount. Yeah, so whoever wins it is gonna get a side prize, which is done just by him. It was his choice, so nothing's really spurring this. But that's awesome. So I, I are you gonna let them pick or are you just gonna kinda of pick randomly and give them one? They may pick. So they you, may tell me if they want it for margin or for steam. Do steam. Steam. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like too many issues. Yeah, I the only reason I even have origin is because of Watch Dogs. And I haven't even played mm -hmm. the game yet. So uh, the only reason Watch Dogs not Origin, it's is Ubisoft. You know yeah, yes, but... that's what I mean. Sorry. Yeah, so I don't even have Origin. There we go. I think I made an account with them once a while ago. I don't know why, and I've never used it. Um, and actually, we actually we still have some time, so this is perfect. As I was going around the con, I did go to a few panels. Nothing game-related, so there's really nothing to talk about there. But I was wondering if it could be possible to maybe have a Gaming Tribe panel next year. I could... Uh -huh. I would have to, I'm going to have to like talk to like Angel and Alex and all of them to figure out if that's even possible because panels are an hour. So I'd have to find something to talk about that would take up an hour worth of time for these people. But I think it would be neat to try to get them, get the information out there because people will see it and it'll be like, it's about video games and PCs that will draw people in automatically. And then maybe if, if I can swing it or if I can clear it, have like a little giveaway for the people in the panel because there was a comic book panel I went to where they did that. They had two people pick a number and they used that for the row and the seats and whoever was in that seat won a free comic that was signed by the creators. So that was cool. So um, I think it would be awesome to try to have a mass luminosity slash gaming tribe panel. Although I'd want to try to find someone nearby to come and do it with me because I don't want to be the only one sitting up there on that table. I wouldn't I, stage fright. I couldn't do well, it. Just because. Um of notoriety and everything you'd probably like if you're going to do it for comic-con at all it'd probably be for san diego would get like more yeah it would reach. get more people i think i would rather try it with phoenix one first oh i get you san diego or get... vegas is probably big yeah, yeah. um i would i would Other honestly that, I would say just do start... it for pax because you, be you would have a lot of people migrating to pax yes um... especially from the gaming tribe community yeah I, I would I wanted to start with Phoenix one second sweet because that would be like the trial run sort of thing but yes Erwin what was it I have two things more okay go on we still got we got like 15 we're, minutes we're, we, uh, I decided just yesterday that I would add three more prizes to the ferocity thing oh really and what are those gonna be one for the first one of each category of the non big prize winners Okay. Which is twenty dollars $20 per person. So I have three prizes for twenty dollars for each winner of the second, third, and fourth category. Oh, nice! Also, Steam or Origin by choice. That's actually really cool. That way, they won't feel as bad for not winning the grand prize. <laughs> True. <laughs> Above what is is in the prize range, and the other one is the 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 new Steam group for gaming tribe. Yes, go ahead and talk about that. Oh, that's us. right. Uh, I created a Steam group uh, uh, game called Gaming Gr Tribe to um, make more uh, more available for non-gaming tribers. Because this group can be used to come uh, to, to, uh, to how do you call it? Um, to communicate. Communicate with others. You can invite uh, non-gaming tribe friends to the group and then have them see what Gaming Tribe is all about. And if they like it, they can join our, our Gaming Tribe uh, community. That'll be cool. And we can use it to set up um, gaming events too for like Team Fortress yeah. 2 and other massive uh, player ones. That way we can be like, we can probably just make a status and be like, we need to pick a day, find a day that works for the majority, and then find a time and then make the event. And the best part about that is Steam will remind you and be like, hey, there's an event going on right now. You should probably check it out. So no like, one has a reason to forget. Like Gaming to, Tribe. Not to Insider. go and be that guy. Um, 
Speaking of Team Fortress 2, apparently Valve is going through the numbers right now of shutting oh. down a lot of servers. Really? Yeah, I guess they're going and falling back because uh, their communities are kind of dwindling. Diminishing? Yeah, they're diminishing a lot. So oh, a lot of a lot of private servers are now losing their um, authentication tokens that wow. got established a few years ago. Yeah, it's it's no good, man. We should um, talk to Oro and see because actually, while we were doing the stream, it popped up in the corner that she she's always playing Team Fortress too. So it'd be interesting to talk to her and get her opinion on that whole thing. I didn't know that. I yeah. play it so infrequently that. It really doesn't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, it, it's smart for Valve to do that, to keep it on Valve servers. Yeah. And I'm sure that there was, you know, some stuff behind the scenes. But it, for the community as a whole, it's it's being very harmful. Well, I hope, I hope that this uh, helps them out in kind of streamlining it. The streamlining things. <laughs> I cannot speak today. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been running on like two and three hours of sleep since Thursday because of this con and work and my brain. It doesn't want to get out of the game, V Diz. How dare you? <laughs> oh, this thing opened up. Calm down. <laughs> I'm, Calm just, I'm just giving you crap. It's... No, I got to do my roll for the day. My what? bad. Just close it out. It's on a 24-hour timer, man. He's over here trying to sneak into Dota 2 like it won't tell me. I have you on both Raptor and Steve, so they both popped up like, he's in this game, and I'm like, pay attention. Well, I didn't even real. I keep forgetting that Raptor runs in the background. Like, I never run it at all. I actively. do. It just runs it silently for achievements that I get email bombed with, and I'm just like, ugh. Pretty much, like I forget it's on unless someone goes into a game and it's like someone so is gaming. And then when I finish a game, it's like you just won this many points. I have no idea what the points are for. I never use Raptor, so I'm like I have all these points and they just sit there. So I just accept that. Sure, whatever. Yeah. Um, the other thing is I'm seeing uh, what tournaments are up, but that's something completely different. Can't. Yeah. Is that the okay, old one? The that's the cable of the old one, but it is four and a half meters long. How many what? feet is that? I don't know. I don't know Five feet to a meter. Five feet to a meter? Three. 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 I'm sorry, what'd you say? Four and a half meters. Forest, that's 12. Jesus Christ. So that's about 12 feet. That's a, yeah. That's, that's three about 14 and a half feet, yeah. That's three times has, as long as I am tall. Almost. And it has three plugs. Huh. USB and a mic and a headphone. It's a good thing I have all of those right here on the front. <laughs> because it has also light. Which That's the other interesting one that it actually runs a USB and the the is, component cables. Is the USB only for the the illuminated part of it, or is there something else with it too? That's why it needs a USB. It's, it's probably like something else too because it has also a mic plug uh, on the the on this on this handle, but uh, a separate volume uh, for the for the mic. Interesting. You can okay. turn it down. All right, so is is it Debiont? Debiont? Okay, D B I O N T. They say that you can they have a store on their app and you can use your points for giveaways and to get games and stuff. So, that's actually really awesome. I might start using that from now on cuz these games have just been accumulating. I think I get like 60 for every time I spend hours and hours on Diablo. So, I know. There's that. I've so. been too. I I'm going to have to I might actually check that out and use that for the next stream. See what kind of stuff they have and talk about. Which it a app is bit. this? Uh, Raptor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Man, like... I don't even. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Apps, apps, apps everywhere. <laughs> my my computer suddenly has turned into a cell phone. Of course. <laughs> Gotta have apps for everything. At least it's not Windows 8 yet, because everything on that is apps. Hmm. Um. We are coming down to the end of our stream. So, ever the Irwin, yes. Erwin, <laughs> tell everyone <laughs> where they can find you. Jesus it's easy. It my profile it is easy on Steam, on uh, Gaming Tribe, on uh, Origin and uh, with a pound sign also on Battle.net. So, and probably also on IT is easy. It's 
I T I Z E A S Y. Good. All right. Feed this. How about you? You know, I was actually going to mention this to uh, Angel this week um, for profiles. It would be really awesome if we could bypass this whole you can find us here and put that in part of the profile page. It is. Actually, um, well, see, the only thing it lets you link to right now, I think, is your Facebook and your Twitter. But yeah. I, I would also love that. So yeah. before we that fully would be, finish. That would be a great... Um, yeah, like you said, it would, it would be a great polish. Yeah, that way we can link our Steam, our yeah. Origin. That would be super E-play. awesome. That would be. It would be um, easy. Gaming Tribe, Profile, Oblith. Um, you can find me at twitch.tv <laughs> slash the Oblith. And I have far too many League accounts. Just pick um, one. <laughs> pick your favorite and one. <laughs> I, I guess generic name NA would be my Smurf. <laughs> I like that name. That's funny. Um, and a substance. And you can find me on the gaming tribe, um, Steam group as the Obelith. Braga, how about you? Uh, Steam is Killer J twenty two twenty two, and gaming tribe profile Killer J. All right. And as for me, everyone should already know, I'm KD. On G-Tribe, I am KD, K-A-Y-D-E-E, Battle.net, KD Pound 1779. On Steam, I am Miss Kitty 247 M-I-S-S, not M-S, by the way. And thank you for joining us for another episode of GT Insider. We hope you enjoyed today's topics, and tune in next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>